The junior youth minister Florence Nachuala King has implored the inspector general of government to probe graft allegations in the disbursement of the 265 billion shillings fund. Many district officials have been accused of stealing money under the Youth Livelihood Fund. This youth running a bakery under the fund tabled evidence about the graft, which threatens to blight this program. Derek Musinguzi showed us documents peppered with accountability flaws. However, on the payment schedule, they are supposed to pay 10.5 million shillings. So the repayment schedule that was made was supposed to, we were supposed to pay installments of 480,000 per month because they had considered the 10 million that they had given, that they had approved to us. Yet for us, we wanted to consider the amount which we had actually received, the 5 million. So that repayment schedule was unfair to us, but we had nothing to do with it. We faced reality, so we had to pay in halves. The Honorable, uh, the Honorable Simeon Soboga has written to me, citing cases, over nine of them, of very clear cases where these people do not get full amounts of the money. Twelve million, you get 900,000, you get 300,000, and then you walk back and forth. The problem is widespread, as this prompted the State Minister for Youth, Nakiwara Kiyingi, to make a report to the IGG. I wrote to the Inspector General of Government. And I officially went there and handed over this concert. I said, please help me to do a background check. The youth are complaining and I've found it out myself that there is a problem. And these are the tapes, these are the recordings and CDs. When the minister questioned the division officials on why the youths were signing for less money than that was approved, the officials at Rubaga Division had no appropriate answer. It's on record that the division said we are keeping it for them because they will spoil it. If you give them the money at once, 12 million, they will spoil it. So you sign and then they, they keep for you the money, keep in quotes, okay? And then you keep beyond 2013 to 2014 to 2015. And then you're keeping money beyond the financial year. And then other people are yelling outside saying we don't have enough money to even give the, the youth who are applying for it. The Youth Livelihood Fund, whose objective was to uplift the living conditions of the poor and less privileged youth, instead ended up in the hands of the rich, according to the minister. When I went to, to bungalows, knocking and saying, where is the money for the youth? Then I asked the, the officer that this is a bungalow where even goats are, dogs are barking at us. If the people can afford to buy food for dogs, then how come that they are the same people having youth who are, who are ma marginalized? So are you sure you did the right practice according to the law to give people money who are at the baseline, the rural poor? How, why are you taking me to this kind of uh, households? It's the suburbs. A case in point is when she visited the remote Buyiko district where hundreds are poor and jobless. And uh, the district is aware that that's the hub where you find all the young people. And that's where the politics happens, even when they are campaigning. That's where the promises are made. That's where the oath is made. But when I went there, they had never, never, not even a relative. They could not mention that so-and-so has even ever seen someone receiving the money. Nachuala says during her visit to the grassroots, she has unearthed many stage-managed projects. And there was a, a workshop somewhere, I mean, a showcasing for youth livelihood. And then they were exhibiting. So when I asked that person, I was, I was in one district, I said, this is Mbeji. He said, yes, can I know your identity, get me your identity card? And then someone gave me an identity card of Amuria. And I said, but how come you're, in, you're showcasing here and you're saying you're part of the youth here? She has also written a report to the president seeking his intervention. Agnes Nandutu. NTV tonight.